What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you my favorite website to get digital fabrics from. This site is called vmod.xyz. They have a bunch of really cool digital assets and they're also introducing a fabricator that uses AI to create your own fabrics, which is awesome. But basically vmod uh, has a bunch of 3D libraries uh, that it uses. It's got textures, drape templates, and digital fabrics. And it's also compatible with Clo, Marvelous, um, Cinema 4D, Unreal Engine, Blender, you name it. But I mainly use it for Blender. So I'm gonna be showing you how you can download them and use them in Blender for this video. So if you wanna follow along for that, make sure to stick around. So the first thing you wanna do is sign up. It is a paid for website. Uh, I actually have no relationship with these guys. I just really enjoy um, the site and I use it a lot. Uh, so once you have signed up, if you're gonna be using in Blender, you're gonna be using looking under these textures, but if you're gonna be um, maybe texturizing in Clo, you can use the drape templates or digital fabrics. So I'm gonna be going into textures. From here, they have a bunch of stuff. If you click on your fabric type and it will give you a bunch of options, you can see like there's 95 of the Oxford, there's 284 of the CDC, and you can check out everything that they have, which is really cool. Now you can also customize your search by selecting different compositions, characteristics, and solid patterns, or patterns in general. You can see under solids that there's 3,249 different choices to choose from, so it's really, really cool. So I'm gonna be playing with a couple. Uh, so the first one is this vegan fabric that I really enjoy. First, you'll have to purchase it. Uh, there'll be a purchase button there, and then you can download it. So you get X amount of credits, depending on your membership a month. Um, so once you've downloaded that, you should get the entire folder. I'm just gonna open up Blender, I have a little project file here. Um, and what I'm gonna do is just open up my shader editor um, and you can click on this principal BSD, make sure that in edit you have your preferences, you have your node wrangler enabled. This will allow you to do this feature. You can just click on your principal BSD, press control shift T and we're gonna look for our folder that we've downloaded. Mine's gonna be this TX. 00076 leather. So let's click on that and we're gonna select everything here and it's automatically gonna set up your textures. So once we have that, you'll notice that it's obviously not to scale um, and it's looking really weird. So all we have to do now is press Shift A on our keyboard and type in value and connect this to our scale. And then just like that, uh, you'll see the material does disappear at first, but when we start to scale on this value, um, you'll see that everything starts to come back. And just like that, you have your texture. So if you want to change this base color and you don't actually want to use the one they gave you, you can just disconnect the base color like that and it will default be in white. And now you can just adjust it to whatever color you want. But yeah, that's pretty much a basic look through at Vmod and how to use it in Blender. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to drop a like, comment and sub. I really appreciate the support as always. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.